This issue of Japanese history is a continuation of the previous issue on the Meiji Restoration. The Meiji Restoration was a movement to overthrow the shogunate and modernize Japan at the end of the Edo period. Previously, we discussed the Aizu War. This time, we will discuss the Hakodate War, the last battle of the Boshin War. Through negotiations between Takamori Saigo and Keishu Katsu, the Battle of Edo was averted on March 11, 1868. Edo Castle was opened bloodlessly and the Edo Shogunate fell. In May, the Tokugawa family's treatment was decided, and the Tokugawa family was transferred to Suruga, which drastically reduced its territory. There were some 80,000 vassals of the Tokugawa family in Edo, and naturally, the Tokugawa family could not support these vassals. Concerned about this, Tegumei Enomoto, vice president of the shogunate's navy, decided to have the Tokugawa family's excessive number of vassals move to Hokkaido to defend against the Russians and to develop the island. The new government ordered the surrender of warships belonging to the shogunate, but Enomoto, vice president of the navy, refused. In July, at the request of the Sendai clan, which had made its defiance of the new government clear, Enomoto led four warships to escape from Edo in August and headed for the Sendai clan. Enomoto arrived in the Sendai clan in mid-September, by which time both the Aizu and Sendai clans had surrendered to the new government. Enomoto set out for Hokkaido with 3,500 others, including shogunate vassals who had not yet given up their resistance to the new government. Enomoto had submitted a petition to the new government for the development of Hokkaido by the former shogunate vassals, but the new government took this as an attempt to build an independent nation and planned to defeat Enomoto and his men. Enomoto was also followed by some of the shogunate's top lieutenants, among them Naoyuki Nagai, Keisuke Otori, and Tashiso Hijikata of the Shinsengami. At the time, the new government base was located in Hakodate, Hokkaido but the old shogunate forces decided to occupy it and establish an independent government in Hokkaido. On October 22, Enomoto and his men attacked Hakodate and occupied Goryo Kaku. On October 27, Hijikado also attacked and occupied Matsumi Castle, effectively bringing Hokkaido under the control of Enomoto's independent government. In November, the new government heard the news that Hakodate had been taken by the old shogunate forces and organized an army to defeat them. In February 1869, the new government prepared 8,000 soldiers and warships, and the new government forces gathered in Aomari. At this time, the Hakodate navy engaged in a naval battle with the new government navy assembled in Miyako Bay, which the new government forces won. The young Hayashiro Togo also participated in this battle. In April, the new government forces landed in Hokkaido and began war against Hakodate's army. The chief strategist of the new government forces was Kiyotaka Kuroda of the Satsuma clan. Kuroda marched from four different routes, destroying Hakodate's army in various places as he went toward Hakodate. In May, the new government forces arrived in Hakodate and on the 11th attacked Hakodate with a force of 4,000 men. Utori and his men personally took command and fought back, but due to the overwhelming difference in troop strength, they retreated to Goryo Kaku. Kuroda led 700 men to raid and occupy Mount Hakodate. Hakodate's army set fire to the city as they retreated, and Hakodate was engulfed in flames. In this battle, Tashiso Hijikata of the Shinsengami was killed in action. Kuroda conquered the city of Hakodate, and against Tenomoto and others holed up in Goryo Kaku, Kuroda made a recommendation to surrender. Enomoto refused, but on May 15, Naoyuki Nagai surrendered when his rations ran out. Enomoto wanted to commit seppuku in order to take responsibility for his defeat and to plead for the lives of his soldiers, but was stopped by his comrades. In the end, Enomoto told the new government that he would surrender on the condition that his officers would take the blame in exchange for the lives of the soldiers. Kuroda, who highly valued the talents of Enomoto and Otori, refused to accept these surrender conditions believing that incriminating only the executives would make it difficult for them to save their lives and serve in the government. In the end, Enomoto, 
who found it difficult to continue the battle, accepted the unconditional surrender. Enomoto's surrender ended the resistance of the old shogunate forces. The Meiji government proceeded to reform the Meiji Restoration in earnest. It was a reform that denied the existence of the samurai, and the samurai who had pushed for the Meiji Restoration strongly rejected it. This resistance would continue until the Civil War, which was started by Takamori Saigo. The end of the Simon War marked the success of the Meiji Restoration. In the next article, I would like to explain the 10 years from the various reforms of the Meiji Restoration to the Seinen War.